Hello everyone, welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the default characters in Enter the Gungeon. And I'm going to give you some tips on how to choose the best character according to your game style. So my first tip is in regards to the bullet time mechanic in the game that allows you to slow down time while you switch weapons. Now, if you don't know about this mechanic and how you can use it to your advantage, then I suggest you watch my first Enter the Gungeon Tips video. So, if you find yourself in a situation where you're getting hit multiple times early on in the game, first floor, second floor, then you might want to consider playing the Convict or the Hunter because they actually have a second weapon which allows you to take advantage of the bullet time mechanic with the control key right off the bat. Whereas characters like the Pilot and the Marine do not have this advantage, so you would have to wait until you get a weapon either from a chest or a vendor. Or you could also go with the Marine, who is the only character that starts off with plus one to armor. Another thing to keep in mind when you're choosing a character is whether or not you are an aggressive player. So, if you are, then you might want to consider playing the Convict. She not only has the starting pistol with the highest rate of fire, but she's also the only character that can do rapid firing or gun snapping right from the get-go. Another important thing to keep in mind when you're choosing a character is your accuracy. Your mouse accuracy. So, if your accuracy is lacking, then you might want to avoid the Hunter. You'd be better off playing a character like the Convict, for instance, who has a shotgun with a widespread and a Molotov with a nasty area of effect. On the other hand, if you have pixel accuracy with your mouse, but you find the in-game accuracy of the weapons frustrating, then the Marine is a good choice for you. He's got a bonus in accuracy and reload speed. If you know that your strength comes from the variety of guns and actives and passives that your character has at any given point in the game, then consider playing the pilot. He gets lower prices from vendors, uh, he can purchase a blank for 17 brass for instance, and he also gets a lockpick and a higher inventory capacity for active items. If you often find yourself being zerged by enemies, maybe crowd control is a problem. The convict has a good weapon for crowd control, which is the shotgun, and she has a molotov with area of effect. And if you can couple this with the mega dowser or the barrel, which are pretty good crowd control weapons, then you're good. Right, so now we're gonna talk about the secret characters their skills and how to unlock them. So, there are two secret characters for the single player campaign and they are a friendly bullet king and a robot. Alright, here's how you unlock the bullet king. There are certain bullet kings in the game that spawn with red capes. These bullet kings are passive and do not attack you. If you kill the enemies in the room and stay with the special bullet king for a few seconds without killing it, then the bullet will disappear. You have to do this five times and then the new character will be unlocked. The bullet's uh, starting items are Blasphemy, which is a sword that launches projectiles uh, whenever you swing it, and Live Ammo, which is a passive that provides immunity to contact damage and increases the dodge roll's damage to enemies. Right, so the second secret Gungeoneer is the Robot. To unlock the Robot, you must bring a busted television, which is an item in the game, to the blacksmith in the forge the forge is the fifth level in the gungeon. Once you do that, the robot will be unlocked and his abilities are a robot's right hand, which is basically a gun, a coolant leak, which is an active item that sprays water forward, and battery bullets, which is a passive that electrifies your bullets. So you see, I guess you can see the strategy there. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna be doing a boss pattern analysis video and some gameplay videos where I take on some community challenges. So, I hope you guys stick around for that. If not, then thank you so very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time.